Good morning. Now this video try to give an explanation about active noise control, but try to remember please for this uh, uh, presentation, little presentations, it's not executed some kind of adaptive algorithm. It's only executed an input signal which it's inverted signal because it appears uh, set up. Okay, the color white is the input signal sinus, and the color red is the uh, inverse input, which are sent in both cases, for every case, to this loudspeaker input signal or another loudspeaker. It's inverted. Well, the sensor uh, microphone sensor for the first uh, input signal is showing color white, and the second is color red. The uh, both are achieving data from these facts. This is a uh, little uh, duct ventilation setup only to test. The algorithms at the moment is only uh, tested and uh, not adaptive algorithm. In the following videos we'll we analyze it. The position of the microphone, first microphone as a sensor and the uh, loudspeaker to send the input uh, signal inside this box is uh, the channel in which will be analyzed uh, the second microphone and it's a loudspeaker and the nose loudspeaker and second microphone in order to analyze the euro signal good now uh, a little explanation please here and Q is the sound source represent the sound source and Q plus at uh, this Laplacian expressions with this second derivative is uh, represented the another uh, sound source uh, which is trying to be equivalent to the first sound source and uh, this produces changes in the uh, pressure fields uh, given by equation number one and uh, the second sound source produces this uh, second uh, pressure field named a P prima and see the speed of the wave, sound wave. And if we reordinate these equations, we can summarize in equation number three. And what happens if equation A number three, the sound source is near null, then the, so, uh, the pressure field P is equivalent to the pressure uh, field P prima. Then this amplitude try to be equivalent and to get a control, acting a control or cancellations, uh, I'm sorry, not control yet, only cancellations, that should be through by some inverter in order to get a difference near null. Okay? Because of in this consequence, the sound source should be cancelled. Like cause for this. Uh, uh, sound source produced by a second low speaker, for example, in order to achieve these uh, pressure fields. Remember, it should be through some inverter. The um, informatic or like high current explanations uh, algorithm uh, analyzed the work that I proposed in last video was an online hybrid algorithm. Uh, it depends on the user conditions. It's a representation of the algorithm executed. I'm sorry. And the identifications uh, by LMS algorithm is inside the control loop. And the, the time in which needs the LMS to be executed inside the time conditions. Okay? This is the time, a direction of time. Then uh, the trouble could be achieved for uh, this parameter of time. Maybe uh, the condition should be near or through this parameter. And the FX LMS algorithm, if we remember last videos, the error on the parameter of time n is desired uh, value and the uh, response and uh, convolutions and transforming it uh, to the coefficient gains and the input signal x problem, which it could be in these uh, cases and only uh, suppositions. Then, well, uh, what could be an explanation in order to avoid this possible trouble 
uh, because in simulation it's not achiever or in little in quickly changes it's analyzed. But a um, general case to optimize uh, optimize process point A to point B optimization MQ and the direction of time t. I propose it for input signal as in this case a data to identify because it's inside the control loop in order to get the response. Uh, online, uh, online hybrid algorithms should be saved in a memory. Uh, Kubo Morgan proposed a memory, but I would like to propose a quantum memory because of uh, qubits could uh, help with more space in memory. As if we remember, this equation has dependence in optical analysis equation for quantum optical analysis. Uh, it has a dependence of the speed of light. Right? The optimization is a function that as a response in Optima, um, estimated because it's in k plus months and is dependent of the input equation number five. As LMS is a function of quantum memory and a function of speed of light, a proposition could be here if this is speed of light is depending of time. In order to get more quickly interchanging data, say the data to get a good optimizations and don't have an uh, uh, reduced travel with times, in order to get uh, optimizations and saving data to get identifications online control algorithms working with qubits in maybe in parallel, uh, uh, parallel memories. That could be a good solution. And I remember please that is a mathematical proposition. It could be a validation, it could be validated only variable speed of light for scientific science. Nevertheless, it's only a mathematical uh, proposition. Then if we go in back to this uh, value 2.03 for the second microphone, approximately 2.5. Uh, I want to what is happening. The lecture for the second micro first microphone and lecture for the second microphones. And the scale is not a good uh, resolution, but if we uh, decide to analyze what is happening here, 2.05 as for example, 0 0.5. Okay, and the other scale should be 2.02, 2.05, 2 uh, 2 uh, wait a minute please, wait a second, 2.02, okay, and the scale is achieved that, this is a combination of sinus because it's a, a try to get the sinus, this is noisy, it's not achieved yet, some kind of filter is only uh, input signal and a, a sensor, a sensor signal but the microphones. What is happening with the, uh, the second lecture is color red is um, as I choose 1.55 for example because the lecturing number here 1.55 is a maximal value and the less value could be 1.49 1.48 okay okay it's a combination of them then if we get the same scale again, 2.2 and 1.48, we achieve this data. This is separated because of a good explanation. Could be if the input signal is sensed by microphone once and is reduced because it's sending the inverse inverted signal. Well, but in the next video will be analyzed adaptive coefficients with this criterion explaining today. Well, thank you so much. See you.